Hi and hello. Uh, I want to tell you a story called Ricky Tiki Tambo No Sa Rembo Trailer Trailer Gucci Pit Perry Pembo. And it's Tuesday, so let's talk about that. Hi and hello and welcome back to Contains Tamers and Ethanol. It is me, Ethanol. Now I'm back again doing my thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a story I remember hearing in second grade when. Was it second grade? I think it was second grade. Second or th first, maybe, when I lived out in New York. Lived out in a small town called Granville. Um, really tiny. Um, really nothing to it. I don't know where I'm going with this at all, so I'm just going to move on and keep rambling until it goes away. Anyway, so I I I'm going to paint the scene. Oh my god. I'm going to paint the scene for you for this. Uh, for this, this story that was told to me when I was a wee lad of whatever age I was. Um, I remember the, the teacher came in, I can't remember her name for the life of me. I remember what she looks like, but I can't remember her name. She comes in, we do our Pledge of Allegiance, we sing, um, uh, what was it, America? Sweet land of liberty of the Aussie, land where my father's land, land of the pilgrim's pride. Something about Woody Guthrie. I think it was a Woody Guthrie song. <laughs> anyway, so she comes in, we do our Pledge of Allegiance, we do our Woody Guthrie, oh, sweet land tis of thee. Anywho, <laughs> let's try this again. Come in, do the Pledge of Allegiance, sing the Sweet Land of Liberty, um, do the whole thing. She plays piano while we all sang that song, and we sit down, we start to do, go over our English segment of the class and then learn about, you know, proper grammar and this and the other thing. And it becomes story time at some point. And she brings out a boom, like a CD player, boom box, sets it on the table, presses play, and this is the story I remember hearing. I'm going to quote it as best as I can to my memory. Um, but press play, and it started saying, this woman on the tape said, I'm going to tell you the story of Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Tried Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo, and his brother, Ping. And I'm like, alright, I don't really know what's going on, but uh, here we go. In a small, quaint village nestled in the mountain tops, hills of ancient China, there lives a mother and her two sons. One son, her firstborn, who she loved so very, very, very much, she named Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sar Rembo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pip Perry Pembo. Loved him very, very much. And her second son, who was born, she names Ping. Now, don't get me wrong, she loved Ping, but she also loved Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sar Rembo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pip Perry Pembo. Loved both of them equally. And one day when, when the boys grow up and get old enough to go play on their own, uh, she tells them, now don't go near the town well, it's very dangerous, people fall in and drown, don't do it, it's unsafe. And, of course, Ping and Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Tilly Gucci, Perry, Perry Pembo go off to the well, because boys will be boys, and they will just... I don't know, I hate that saying anyways. Moving on. So, they go to the well, and Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Tilly Gucci, Perry, Perry Pembo convinces Ping to play on the edge of the well. So Ping is playing on the edge of the well, kind of doing his little thing like a kid, and ends up falling into the well. And he's down at the bottom of it, shouting, shouting up through the well to Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimper Pimbo, help me, get me out of the well, go get mom. Danger, danger. So Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimper Pimbo runs all the way home. He's he's trucking, he's running, he jumps over fences and through people, not through people, around people and through people's yards. <laughs> if he jumps through people, that'd be gross. And Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimper Pimbo gets home gets to Mother and says, Mom, Ping's fallen into the well! And Mother calls, the mom calls all the villagers, the king's men and the horses and Humpty Dumpty and all them and gets Ping out of the well and she is miffed. Boy, she is pissed at Ping. And they get home and she's like, why can't you be more like Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo? And Listen to what I say, but you know, it was really Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sorry Much, Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo, who told Ping to play there. So who's the one at fault? So, and Ping says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And a few weeks go by, and again, they go out to play, and they play on the well again. The same well that Ping fell into, and Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sorry Rambo, Charlie Tilly Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo had to go running all the way home to tell Mom that Ping had fallen in. But this time, the roles are reversed. Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo has fallen 
into the well because he was the D-bag playing on the ring of the well. So Pink, this time, as Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Charlie Cherry Gucci, Pink Pink Pimble was down at the bottom of the well, reaching up, calling out for help, begging Pink to go get Mom. Pink takes off, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, and he gets home. And he goes, Mom, Mom, Ricky Tiki Tembo, Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Ricky Tiki and Ping is so out of breath that he cannot say Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimp 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 And he's there and he's like, Ricky Tiki, Ricky Tiki, Ricky Tiki. And finally, when he finally catches his breath and says Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimp Perry Pembo has fallen into the well. And the mom gets all the villagers, all the townspeople, and everybody to the well to pull Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimp Perry Pembo out of the well. Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Pimp Perry Pembo is dead. He dropped because it took too long for them to get to Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rainbow, Chanta Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo, and he drowned in the well, waiting for Ping to say his full name. And this is how I remember the tape ending. The story ended like, and that's why everyone in China has short names. Now, <laughs> my middle school self was like, I mean, I guess? Now, Here's the question for you. The story of Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rambo, Charlie Charlie Gucci, Paper Pembo. Is it racist? Uh, yes. <laughs> it, it sounds incredibly racist. I'm, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a, a white female American woman telling the story. I have no idea if this story was made up by this person. Because I've tried to Google Ricky Tiki Tembo, No So Rambo, Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo, and very few people have heard of it. Like, every now and then it's like, oh yeah, it's a story about uh, people in Asia having short names. Okay, well, where did it come from? Did it start? I don't know. So you tell me. You let me know if you think the story of Ricky Tiki Tembo, No So Rambo, Charlie Gucci, Pit Perry Pembo is racist. Because, you know, I think it might be a little bit. A little racist. That's the story. <laughs> I hope you... Enjoyed the story of Ricky Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rambo, Churchill, Gucci, Pip, Perry, Pembo. And again, let me know what you think. And remember, if you're feeling mad, bad, sad, or crap, someone who cares about you up in Bangor, Maine, it's me. I have to burp, but it's me. And all the social stuff is up top and down below. You can always creep on me that way. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. All right? Bye. It's like Peter and Gwen, new Spider-Man. If they don't know how I'm feeling, these blanks they can't fill in.